Okay, here we go. Um, okay, we're going to go back to uh, guys. Here we go. We're doing more trade today uh, with Vector. So we're going to go with Spider Man today with the idea of Spider Man. Can I get somebody to volunteer to start and actually write a question on the board first about And then you can do it to solve the triangle. Move uh, 49, okay, can I ask someone to uh, start me off, please? Yeah, go ahead, Alfred. Good, so what are you finding first? Uh, yeah, I'll call it C, if you use the cosine law, that's fine. C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. Now, Back from grade of 10 or 11, right? You cannot use sine law here even if you wanted to. And I'm going to on you, please. Why can I not use sine law even though I wanted to in this question? Well, yes, yeah, so, good. Well, that gives you that's Sokotoa, right? It's right angle triangles. But why can't I like sine law? I love like sine A over A. Yeah, there's, there's nothing else that's opposite, right? So again, if you, the way they probably taught this in grade 10 was side angle side, this is the type of triangle this is. But if not, you're thinking opposites, right? There's no pairs of opposites. Okay? Haley, can soak some numbers in for me, please? Go ahead. Now, just a reminder if you weren't here on Friday, um, very good, thank you. Um, if you weren't here on Friday, we're going to be in degree mode for these next three units. Okay, so no radian, so if your calculator is in radian mode, just switch over, please. Um, do we do this all in one step? We don't need to do it all in. I do this in one step. Is that okay? Awesome, cool. If you tell me what c squared equals, please. Seventy-six point six seven. Did somebody confirm that? Yeah. And of course, in your calculator, you're going to leave all the digits, right? Yeah. Of course. All right. Would you get to uh, know your final answer, please? Uh, Eight point seven six. Thank you. I didn't say what to round it to, so um, that's fine. Okay, right. If I say around one decimal or two, then you do that. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. Okay. This should be somewhat routine for people, I hope, at this stage. Yes? All right, Bailey, do you want to solve for the left angle or the right angle? Yeah. Fine then, Bailey. I'm going to choose the left angle right there. Bailey, what, how am I going to solve the left angle, please? Sine law. Sine law. So it's going to be sine theta over 11 equals sine 49 degrees over 8.76. All right, Tanner, why does it make sense? I did sine in the numerator instead of 11. Why does it make sense for you to do it like this? Okay, somebody help me here, it's okay. Why did I put the sine theta in the numerator instead of the denominator? Because you could have done 11 over sine theta. Yeah. Easier to, um, like if I apply 11, then to multiply it by sine theta. Yeah, because again, you can cross multiply if you want to on this one, but it's just nice. Okay, so Tanner, go ahead, please. Uh, and you get 11 sine 49. Over Great. Right. Okay, Brad, you're going to be calculator boy here. Online. Okay, Did you get an answer for that, please? And I like what Brad's doing here for those that came in late or right on time. Uh, just make sure you actually type in your calculator and make sure you get the same answer, right? You get no mean Oh no, did somebody else get the main errors? No, that was not the question. Oh. Is it the main error? No. 71. 71 point. <laughs> Okay, it's not quite a domain there. So if you're doing it this way, what I would do is 11 times sine 49 equals divided by 8.76 equals, then sine inverse. And let's get a calculator like loop, which can do it all in one step. Okay, right? But if you have a regular calculator. All right, Callan, since you helped on that one, I'll still pick on you for the last one. I'm going to call beta on the right here. How do I find beta, please? You do 71.5 plus 49. Yeah. Over 360. Uh, careful. 180, not 360. 
Because the way you are that. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Can you get an angle for that, please? 59.5? Well, that's 49.0, not 0. 0.6. 59.5, thank you. Okay, now as far as do the dimensions make sense, you can check this out of the triangle very easily. 49 <coughs> angles of C, that's got to be the smallest side, the smallest angle. 71 is the biggest angle, so 11 got to be the biggest side. 59.5 is the middle, so 10 got to be the middle. Okay, right? That's so you can check in. You can check that in proportion just to make sure your answer is right. We're going to be getting into cosine law and adding vectors and all that stuff today, so I want to make sure that just the basic trig stuff here is good for people. Okay, so then when you get one of these, you don't freak out. Right, Caleb? Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Um, I just, I'm going to hit pause so the internet doesn't hear this. Actually, I'll stop it so the internet doesn't hear this. I'm going to